Hey guys, and welcome back to The Ring. When we last left off, uh, I said I was going to go exploring, and I have gone exploring. I haven't actually found anything else apart from this over here, which I noticed spinning around. Uh, I guess that's another part for our rocket launcher. Part C taken. Um... Right, part C. Uh, I'm guessing that maybe now we have all the parts for the rocket launcher. Unless there's four parts. Oh, it might actually be the napalm launcher. I don't even know how to combine stuff. I mean, the grenade launcher was basically useless. Uh, I don't know. Maybe this isn't. Maybe there is another part then. Okay. Oh. Nope. There we go. Uh... Right. The most powerful weapon. Huge explosion severely damages surrounding people, ally or foes. So I guess it's dangerous to us as well then. We got 17 shots for it. Um So Where's the napalm launcher then? Because if that's like the ultimate weapon in the game, where do we find the na- Ooh, jeez. Ooh. Oh, dude, I want to try that out. But, ooh, we've got to go back. Can we like try this out on something? I mean, we do have 17 shots for it. Does this also fire the napalm shots? I don't think so. Oh. Yep. I guess so. Right. Come to mama. Really, dude? Well, that was... <laughs> okay. That didn't exactly go to plan. Maybe I should have saved it before trying that. Uh, let's get some more rockets. I, I, ugh. You know, let's save state this first. And try this out. We need to know what we're dealing with here. So have we missed the, um... Oh, we got 16. Yeah, we had 17 shots total. Ooh. See, they did kind of give it some cool reload animations and stuff. Um... I'm guessing we're going to have to fight uh, Sedico then. With the rocket launcher. That would be my guess, but... We can't... Hey, friend. There we go. Really? Okay. Things are not exactly going to plan here. I'm guessing if we use this, we're going to kill ourselves. Uh, reload. Appears to be very hard to actually hit anything with this. Yeah, can you stop attacking me, dude, please? Dude, just... Let me shoot you in the face with my rocket launcher. <laughs> okay, game over. Right, so we just one-shot ourselves with the rocket launcher. Um, okay, I, I don't really, at this particular time, see the use of that weapon, unless, well no, technically this is the real world, isn't it, yeah, so what happens,
Because in the virtual world, all we've got is, is bullets. Handgun bullets. Lots of them as well. Oh, like 90 of them. We've got a lot of health actually in the real world. Or in the virtual world. Uh, how would we get back? Odd system, maybe? Um, exit. Right. That was really anticlimactic, that rocket launcher. I have a feeling that it's going to be like super super dangerous to use that thing but we've got 17 shot well 16 shots for it now uh i don't know man can, can we transfer things from the real world back over i'm pretty sure they said we can't go back through here yeah, I'm guessing we now have to go to the uh, pods. I assume. I don't know. And then we've got to go to the real world. And we've got to go see Sedeco in the real world. I guess we're going to have a fight with her, but... I'm not really sure what's going to come of the fight. It's weird as well that there's three ladders here. There isn't actually anything we can do with these ladders. Should we just... Uh, should we have one last squiz around? Like, I would have thought this machinery did something. But everything here is just, like, so decrepit and run down. All right. This will work. I don't have a sense of time, so I don't know exactly how much time has passed. I didn't get to see Jack, but I should head back. No, we didn't see Jack, did we? We just saw a brain in a jar and found out that this is actually the real reality. Pick your battles, girl. Were we meant to see Jack? Was that something we could miss? And here we are, back in the virtual world. Now well, she's as happy as ever. Meg! Uh, um, um. I was able to come back, in any case. In any case? In any case. Uh, Shizuko, who in the world was that? Um, I don't really know. I mean, Robert? Oh, there's the gun. This... I'm supposed to use this. Which is the game world? I'm starting to completely lose track. Robert, I'll believe that you're still alive. So we have a handgun here. Hey, if this is the virtual world, can't they just, like, magic up anything for us to use in here? We've got a hundred bullets. Do we, like, kill the other scientists? Are the other scientists, like, even real, though? Or... Uh, oh, I don't know. I, I don't even know anymore. All we know is we need to go see Sadako. And we need to go to that room that had um, Sadako's mom in as well. Because she's left us something which apparently we really want. Oh wow, we've been playing this. Well, I did spend a good chunk of time looking around for stuff before I found that part. Uh, okay. Right, let's go. We have 100 bullets. It still doesn't open after all. I wonder if... Uh, the Kino's alright. Oh, there we go. Power's dropped. Until the security restarts, please wait in your room. Repeat. Power has been dropped. Until the security restarts, please wait in your room. <gasps> the Kino. He said I had three minutes. I'll be alright if I can get beyond that far door. I can do it. Oh shit, we actually literally have three minutes as well. Okay. 
Um, there was... Uh, this door? There's a ladder. Ah, right. We can go downstairs here. Then I guess that is... Oh, hello. That leads outside. Uh... Right. Oh, look. These are all drains. Oh. There's actually stuff out here now. Come on. Get around the fucking manhole. Right, we'll grab the battery, because that seems like a really bloody useful item. Anything else spinning around out here? Doesn't look like it. Ooh, what's that? Game? Katana! Uh, yes. <laughs> nice. We've got a fucking katana. What the hell do we... Ooh. Close range combat weapon used in old Japan. Very sharp, yet has high artistic value. Uh, right? I mean... Okay. <laughs> cool. We've got a katana, I suppose. I uh, wasn't exactly expecting to find a melee weapon. Right, what's down here? I don't even know if the guide even mentions a... Oh. Oh, where are we? Ah, we know where we are. We know where we are. Kind of. Right, this is the door that we have to get through. Dick. Oh no, this is breeding room. Right, let's go. Uh... Yeah, this is that locked door. Apparently now opens just fine. Uh, keep this unlocked. There. It will be alright even if the security comes back on. This is uh, this is the back room that's so feared by all. What in the world will come of it? I hope nothing strange comes out. Like over there. I'm still worried though. Right. Okay, let's go back. Now apparently we've disabled the... that. Is there anything worth looking around? Uh, let's go back into the security room and save it. We seem to have a lot of bullets, not a lot of enemies. Which is curious. Is there actually anything in here? Oh, nice. I guess there is going to be a point in having a look around then. Okay. Right, let's drop a save. I wonder... I wonder if all the patients are still down here. Unless they've turned into monsters. Yeah. Drop a save there. Should we use the katana? Hmm. Look at the katana. That awful fucking music. Right. Let's... wonder how good this is. Megs... Oh, Jesus. Oh, it's slow. It's slow, and it does bounce off... It does bounce off things. But, let's give this a go. So, I wonder, like, are we going to encounter... Oh, let's go into the toilets. So we now know this is the virtual world, so why did we get in trouble for exploring in here? Ah, yeah, of course, there's no electricity now, is there? No electricity, and... We're in the place where we don't have any batteries at all. Doesn't that seem a little bit silly? You know, in the other reality, we've got billions of bloody... Um, uh, batteries and all that good stuff. And over here, we got nothing. No, so that woman's not here. Oh. wonder where they've all gone. 
I mean, apart from the fact that they're probably all AI constructs. Well, were they though? Because, I mean... Uh, I think I'm overthinking this game. Like, I'm really overthinking this game, aren't I? So what's in here then? I mean, this is an item room. I can't actually remember what items we have. I know, yeah, I know we've got a lot of health in here, but I don't think we've got any ammo. Right? Yeah, we've just got healing jelly. Uh, a lot of healing jelly. Are there any basic healing jellies as well? All right. That's fine. Fucking katana. Was that there all the all this time? And we just missed it first time round. Now, there were lots of patients in these rooms. Apparently. Well, they're still here. They're just in bed. Okay. Yeah, it looks like a sweet FA here. Huh. Maybe that's going to be a theme. Maybe there isn't actually anything to look for. But we found that healing jelly, though. So, I don't know. I'm going to search everywhere anyway, just in case. Still no mutants and monsters and beasts. Nope, nothing. Nope, no items either. Really? Nothing? I mean, I guess this is the virtual world. That katana is pretty meaty looking as well. It's a shame it's so slow. Let's check out the microscope room, I suppose. This is where the shit went down. Anything in these cupboards? Nope. What about the locker that we hid in? Anything at all. Even a monster. I'd settle for a monster at this point. Nothing. Nope. Alright. Okay. Maybe there isn't then. Weird. You would have thought there'd be something. Yeah, they finally weaponized us. And I guess... Uh, what about the op room? No. Was it the op room we hid in? Mm-mm. No, it was the micro microscope room, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, got a cabinet there, but we can't even search that because why would we, right? Nope. That's still pretty moon logic. The fact that we had to move that little stool. The only reason I even say that, that was moon logic is because that's the only time we've ever had to do that in this game. It's like all of the patients have been moved. Or all of the ones that were up and walking around. But then it's night time. So I guess they're just sleeping in these beds. And there's us walking around with a fucking katana. But then does that even, even matter anyway? Because they're all not real. So yeah, <sighs> I don't know, man. Right, well, I guess we're just going to have a look through here and see what we can find. Be nice if the power comes back on. Right. Okay, can't go through there. Uh, I guess we're going to check out the... Isolation rooms. Why would they give us weapons and stuff if there's no enemies here, though? Don't search the coats. Yeah. Oh, hello. What are you? As a patient? Are you alright? 
give me a break. What's wrong with you? What in the world is he? Wait. You, what happened to you? Uh, you're kidding. What is this? Oh. Turn into a gorilla. Does this mean... Oh, does, does this mean this is really a virtual world? You're telling me to fight? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Wow. This is the... This is the only way. Oh, hello. That is all right. You. There's nothing wrong. This is how humans stay alive. Besides, this is a virtual world. You've done nothing wrong. A murderer. Are you saying there's nothing wrong with a murderer? Yep. Hang on. So you were fine with blasting monsters and everything else in the real world, which you now know was the other reality. Now you know that you're in the virtual reality and you've killed a monster. Now you're crying about it. What? I'm telling you, he was no longer human. And this is a virtual world. What is the problem with it? You! You don't understand because you're not human. Yes? All of you, you never treated either of us as humans, making a fool of us, using us for your benefit. When all else failed, called us freaks. How all of you looked at either of us were not the eyes of a human. They were horrible eyes, you humans who continue to kill each other to this day. You're saying murder is wrong after all this time. In either case, this is a virtual world. If you don't get the vaccine soon, many more people will die in the real world. <laughs> she just shrugs. Uh, eh, wait a minute. Oh, God, this ki Oh, hello. Yes. This game, man. So... Why has Meg suddenly got a conscience about killing people? I mean, obviously, she's still coming to terms with the fact that they are actually monsters. But still. This is just some serious, serious BS. Ooh, file. I don't want to go. 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 It will be five days tomorrow, heading back there again. I don't want to go. Yeah, well, sorry, Chief. You went there. Uh, and you didn't even have anything for me, you little bastard. Could have at least given me some, I don't know, rocket launchers or something. Right. Wait, hang on. Oh, there isn't. I, th I thought there was another door there for some reason there. I guess not. So now are we populated with monsters? Although in all fairness, there wasn't actually that many people in um, isolation. Well, actually, we never got to isolation, did we? We just got to like the normal. Uh, yeah, we just got to like the normal wards. I guess there's still sweet FA here. Nothing in the shitter. Really? Nothing? Isn't even a drawer that we can search in this room? Oh, game. Tight-fisted bastards. Give me some weapons. And humans are always going to be killing each other. That's kind of what we do. All these people that practice, you know, preach peace and all that stuff. This is not human nature. There's always going to be violence. There's always going to be murder. There's always going to be horrible things that happen. Hopefully we'll minimise it as time goes on. Yes. But we're always going to have these things. Sorry. Right. I'm not saying these things are right. I'm just saying that's the way the world is. That's human nature. Mm. 
Right, okay. So, can we go in here? Oh, we can go in here now. Oh. Ah, we've got a key. We've got the Mona Lisa here. Is oh, who the... Ah. That's her body. So that's got to be Sadako's body, I guess. Or is that Sadako's body? I don't know. But anyway, this is a virtual world, so... What is that a key for? Oh, found the emergency power key. The key to revive the power. If you restore power with that key, you'll meet Sadako. Okay. I really don't care which world is reality anymore. Anyway, anyway, if I use this, if I use this to meet Sadako, Robert will be saved. Who knows? If you want to see Sadako's, you have to go from the lift upstairs. Go down the elevator from the chief's office. Right. So now we have to go all the way back up the chief's office? Well, what will we say then? Everything's up to you, Meg. And she just... <laughs> easy for you to say. Becoming a corpse and then coming back to life. Yeah, she's a regular old Jesus. Anyway, I'll do what I can, regardless of you and your daughter. Uh, okay, so now we have a key. So coming back here was a little bit pointless. I mean, it wasn't pointless. We had to do it for game logic reasons, but no good. It doesn't open. That doesn't open either. All right. Uh, back to the power room then, I guess. Fair enough. At least that music stopped. God, that awful music. Okay. We're just like charging around here like a mental woman wielding our sword. Uh, power room. Upstairs. And the music started again. God damn it. Ah, I hate the music. You know, this game has a way of making you feel like you've actually done loads when actually you've just walked through a couple of rooms. It's a very... Oh! Did I just hear a monster? I don't think so. Okay, so which one was the transmission room? There it is. And then we need to go to the chief's room. Right, emergency power. Guessing this is going to be exactly the same as it was in the real world. Why have us perform this twice? What's the point? Okay, so mine. Here we go. Emergency generators are restored. Hey, it's back. The emergency power. So, it's not all of the power. Well, this is enough. If what Shizuku says, this will get me down into that room. In any case, I just can't believe that this is a virtual world. Why not? You had no issues believing the other world was fake. Alright, so, let's go see Chiefy. Off, ah, actually, well, we're on half an hour here, so I guess we'll save it here and call it a day. Nobody in here? Nope. We've got this really, like, mellow sounding music as well that's just really chilled. Unless, of course, like, we've got 30 seconds of gameplay left. In which case, I will just add it onto the end of this one, I guess. Right, anyway guys, I guess we'll see what happens. Thanks for watching, and as always, till next time. I feel like I've been in a time warp though. Like, how was this video 30 minutes? Jesus. Anyway, till next time.